I think this movie has, like, the longest runway, like, ever put together in history. What is it, like, the whole, like, length of the United States? Hey guys, welcome to my review of Fast and Furious 6. That's right, we're almost there. Almost. Almost there. So the story for this movie is that The Rock goes to recruit like the whole old crew of Vin Diesel, Paul Walker and all of them to like, take down some other like driving crew like terrorist organization in exchange for pardons and didn't we already do this already? I mean wasn't the whole like basis of the last movie to like do one final job and then disappear and you know Dwayne Johnson like gave him like the one final he goes you know I'll like give you a head start and I'm just... You know, it doesn't make any sense. It seems like they're doing the whole thing over again. Like, one final job so that we can all get pardoned and go off into the sunset. You can only go off into the sunset so many times! So the only new character that I want to talk about with this movie is the bad guy that's played by Gaston. That's right, the guy who plays him is the same guy who played Gaston in the Beauty and the Beast remake. Which is a movie that I reviewed, which is a video that you should go watch. After you get done watching this entire review, though, of course. And I know this guy probably has some other name, but screw it, I'm just gonna call him Gaston. This movie feels pointless though, it doesn't need to exist. Then again, none of these movies do, but I said that the last movie would have been a nice ending for the Fast and Furious franchise. Like, it's, I thought it ended on a good note, and instead we gotta, like, try to end it again, but instead we end on another cliffhanger, which is actually one of the best parts of the movie. But we'll get to that, we're talking about the bad things now. So, spoiler, like, Gal Gadot dies in the movie, but, like, there's no weight to her death because it feels like nobody except for Soon Kang's character really reacts to it. Like, except for maybe, uh, Jordana Brewster and, like, I think maybe Tyrese Gibson and Ludacris, but none of the other ones really react to it. It's just kind of shoved under the rug for some reason when she dies. And I really think that it pulls away from the impact of her death but at the same time, I guess the movie is doing something right, because when she died, I did go, oh, that, that sucks. Also, Michelle Rodriguez's character comes back in this movie for some goddamn reason, but we'll get to that. But one thing I wanted to bring up, though, is that pretty much Vin Diesel dumps the hot, like, Brazilian cop chick that he was banging to go back to Michelle Rodriguez. And it's like, she doesn't even remember who Vin Diesel is, but yet he still dumps hot Brazilian chick for her. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it just seems like kind of a dickish thing to do. And yeah, Michelle Rodriguez coming back in this movie was so stupid. Like, the fact, oh, I don't have any memory or anything. Like, it just, it felt really forced and it felt really stupid. I was actually okay with her dying. I thought that that was actually a good plot point because it kind of, I guess you could say advanced Vin Diesel as a character. Like, I never thought I'd say that, but... Like, I thought it was okay, and I feel like this was just a huge cop-out. And it was just really stupid the way they pulled it off. Also, like I've said before, these movies are straight up just not even racing movies anymore. Like, it's really forced that they need any cars in this movie. It's just, they're not, they're not racing movies anymore, they are heist movies. That being said, though, I still think characters like Tyrese Gibson, you know, Ludacris and all them are still tons of fun. The Rock is still fun. Everybody still has great chemistry in this movie, which makes the movie still stupid and pointless, but entertaining to watch. One last thing I wanted to talk about, though, though which I actually thought was clever, because uh, this movie is the last one that takes place before Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. And I always thought that was stupid, but this actually kind of was a little bit of a clever twist. There's an after credit scene. Yes, that's right. This movie has an after credit scene. No, I'm not going to go back and see if any of the previous movies had after credit scenes because I don't care. But Jason Statham pretty much shows up and it's revealed that he's the one who kills Soon Kang and Tokyo Drift. And I actually thought that was a pretty good twist. Like, it's really badass. And like, I'm just, I haven't seen Fast and Furious 7 yet. I'm going to watch it right after I finish editing this video so I can review that and get these done. But I already am just going to assume that that is Gaston's brother. I mean, they're both British. They're both, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, it's kind of like how in Die Hard 3, Die, like, with a vengeance or whatever it was called. Like, you kind of figured out just by watching the trailer that, spoiler alert, Jeremy Irons is is Hans Gruber's brother from the first Die Hard movie. That's just what I'm specifying. I'll tell you whether I was proved wrong or not in the Fast and Furious 7 review, though. But I thought that was a really cool scene, and he's just like all, 
Dominic Garrido, you don't know me, but you will. And then the car like explodes in the background. I thought that was actually pretty cool. So that being said, though, this movie is pointless, but... I mean, like most of these movies, it's popcorn. It's just a popcorn movie, and I would recommend it just for that. I'd, you know, turn your brain off and just something. Maybe it's background noise or just something that's entertaining. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. Be on the lookout for the rest of my Fast and Furious reviews. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.